सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई न्यू वीडियो सो आवर टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज फाइन द नंबर ऑफ वेज टू प्लेस पीपल वन ओके सो यू आर गिवन अ टू डी एरे ऑफ पॉइंट इन एवरी इंडेक्स यू आर गिवन अ कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट एक्स वन एंड वाई वन ओके एक्स एंड वाई एंड काउंट द नंबर ऑफ पेयर्स ऑफ पॉइंट ए एंड बी सो सो ए इज द अपर लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ बी एंड देर आर नो अदर पॉइंट इन द रेक्टेंगल और लाइन they make including the border okay so the question was saying that you are given a chord points okay points this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate so you have to find the pair of a and b such that a is upper left side of the b okay so any a is upper left side of b like if b is here and a is here okay so but also you can make a line okay in this case you can see this is a and b okay a is only left side to the b so you have to consider this also this is making line okay this is not a a is not a upper this is only left side but this is also valid and in this case you can see a is only upper side okay if it if it is not only left side it is not upper left side it is only upper side this is also valid so let's answer understand the question now okay so so you are given points okay so this is the coordinates so you are given and you have to make you have to choose pairs a and b so we can try all all of the possible pairs okay so we can choose a 6 comma 2 as a, a and then we can choose b for 4 comma 2 and 2 comma 6 okay this is for 6 comma 2 for 4 4 comma 4 we can choose this a as a this as b this coordinate as b okay for like 2 comma 6 also this, we can choose this coordinate as a and remaining to as b and we can then check our conditions okay how the like any coordinate a left upper left side of b how we can determine it okay so let's say in in this example okay this is a and this is b right so how we can determine it okay so a i am going to write this coordinates here okay a and b okay so this is nothing but 4 comma 4 and 6 comma 2 okay so how we can determine a is left upper left side of b okay if any number is upper that means how what upper it y coordinate is greater than b okay if y coordinate is greater than b okay so how we can determine we can write like this is x1 let's consider, consider this is y1 and this is x2 and this is y2 okay if any number is upper that means that means it your y coordinate is greater than or equal to b coordinate okay so we can write here if so like y1 if it's upper like if it is upper that means is y coordinate is greater than y2 okay b coordinate but in the example you are seeing if it is equal to that is also possible okay if if it is on same line that is also fine if, if when it is only left side so the y coordinate is equal okay so this is also valid point okay now any number is left side of b a is left side of b means any number is left this is b this is a that means its x coordinate is x coordinate is less than y yes yes it, a x coordinate is less than b okay let's understand okay for this what is the uh, x coordinate this this x coordinate is 4 and this is 6 okay if it is less left side that means is x coordinate is less than right so we can determine if if okay x coordinate x1 if it is less than or equal to x2 if it is valid that means point a is upper left to the b okay and why i am writing equal to because in like let's understand in this case you can see if it is only on the left side that is also valid if it was only on upper side that is also valid that's why i have to write equal to okay if it is only on left side that means x coordinate is less but y is equal same right y is same that's why we have to write that so first condition is this okay so whenever we are checking every coordinates and if this condition follow that means a is left side to the b okay now let's understand the second point okay what's the second point the second point saying that in in that two coordinates okay if we have like two coordinates a coordinate and b coordinate any 
other point except that coordinates okay like 6 comma 2 this is a and this is b okay and other points like 4 comma 4 if it is lie lies between both of them that means we can't return true okay even if the point is on this okay this line like edges if it is on on edges also we have to return false okay how we can determine it okay so let's understand how we can determine it so uh, this is like x1 this is uh, i am going to write okay this is x1 wait 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 just a second x second this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 okay and how we can determine it any co coordinate is lies between them okay so we are going to again traverse on this array except we have to exclude these two points because this is a and b yeah. okay so we have to check so any number is a, any point is appear in this okay so we have what we have to check like that okay now let's see so for this okay a a coordinate is 2 right and the b coordinate is 6 okay and this is 4 if if it is lies in between them it means that this is the condition right this is the condition okay if 2 is less than equal to 4 and 4 is less than equal to 6 that means 4 is lies between the two coordinates of x coordinate okay so what we can write here target okay this like 4 is we can say 4 is like target okay target and its coordinates are x and y okay so how we can write it if x1 is less than equal to x right and it is less than equal to x2 right this is how we can write if any number is light between two numbers that means that means this is the condition right now let's see for now let's see for y coordinates okay how we can determine it so for y coordinate this is like y this is 6 and this is 2 and this is 4 okay so how we can determine it uh, 6 is nothing but x x2 right 6 is nothing but x2 so uh, x6 is nothing but y2 right oh sorry y1 if it is greater than equal to our y and greater than this 4 is greater than equal to our y2 okay this is the condition right if 4 is lies between y1 and y2 that means this is the condition okay this is the condition and why i am writing equal to because edges are also valid right so we can write here y1 if it is greater than equal to y if it is greater than equal to y2 okay these are the two condition okay so what is our main goal so first of all we are going to make a pair of everyone we are going to use two for loop and if our this condition is valid okay that means a is left side of b okay and uh, we can this is what we can do okay and after that we have to check we have to again traverse on loop um, again traverse on our array and we have to check if our target if our target point like except these two points okay these are our a and b so we have to skip it and then the remaining points we have to check if this uh, point follows this condition that means we have to return uh, false okay why because this point is lies between the two a and b points okay if this is not the case then we have to add the pair okay we have to count that pair now let's go to the code right now let's understand the code okay so we have to write first n n is nothing but p o i n t s points dot length and we have to count okay our count count the valid pair so this is our valid pair okay so for zero i less than n i plus plus then we have to like for this is our a we are our running our first loop for a so our x1 is points points of i zero okay this is our x1 and what is our y1 okay so this is our x1 and our y1 is points of i and this is one okay this is our y1 okay now we are running our second loop for b okay we are trying out every possible pair okay j is equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus okay so if i equal to equal to j that means we are on same coordinate we have to skip it okay 
we have to skip it and then we have to write our next x2 x2 is nothing but points of j 0 right this is our x2 and what is our y2 points of j comma when okay this is our y2 okay then we have to check if it a is on the a is left side of left and upper side of b that means what we have to check if x x1 if it is greater than so what we write like you can say in this condition oh, so we what we have to check guys if it is less than I, <coughs> that means our x value is smaller okay every case if it is left side that means our x value is smaller if our x x1 value is greater than x2 or our y1 value is less than y2 that means it is invalid that we have to continue okay so let's understand what i write here so let's see in this case what i write what i write guys here i write if our x1 is less than or equal to x2 and in code i write if our x1 is greater than x2 okay this is these condition are for valid okay this is the opposite of this okay if this condition true that means our code is uh, that means this pair is invalid okay and for this also y1 is less than equal to y2 it is opposite of it okay and this is for valid conditions if the pair follows this condition that means it is invalid right very simple okay we have to continue okay after that what we have to check we have to check like like okay we have to again traverse on our array okay k equal to 0 k less than n and k plus plus okay and we have to check like our int x x is nothing but points of k 0 and y is points of k 1 okay this is our x coordinate this is our target coordinates okay if this point is lies between our a and b okay and we have to skip then we have to skip our a and b okay if our k is equal to equal to i or k is equal to equal to j that means we have to continue because these are i and j are our a and b coordinates right and now we have to check if our x is greater if x is greater than equal to our x1 and it, uh, this is the condition for the point is if the point is lies between our a and b points okay so x is greater than equal to and x1 and x is less than equal to x2 also like y if it is less than equal to y1 and y is greater than equal to y2 okay this is the condition that we understand in our tablet okay if this is the condition we have to like for checking that we can write here boolean boolean flag this is like true okay this is true we are assuming assume that th there is no point lies between a and b if any point lies between a and b that means we have to write our flag to false flag is false and we have to break okay we get our if any point is lies between our two point then we have to break okay and if our flag remains true that means there is no point lies between two coordinates to a and b okay so we have to count count plus plus and at the end we have to return return our count okay let's check any syntactical mistake x1 okay let's try to run it if you understand today's problem please like and subscribe why this is not running one second guys uh, the problem is running fine okay so this is the solution that there is a network problem okay if you like the video then like share subscribe and do comment okay thank you so much for watching bye